Hey guys, Tech Mitchell with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you six different ways that you can use the shake to undo feature on your iPhone, which is a neat feature. If you haven't been using it, you'll find that sometimes it's a neat feature to utilize on your iPhone, which is enabled by default. But if not, if you go into your setting of your iPhone and then go to accessibility and then go to touch, there's a feature called shake to undo. Basically, if you shake your phone by act, if you did something and you shake it, it will ask you if you want to undo that action that you did. Again, we'll show you six different ways that you can use it. So let's get started. So the first way I like to use it or that's available for you to use is your mail app. So if you open up your mail app, just like that, right? Let's say you deleted a mail, for example. Let's go ahead and delete this uh, mail, move it to trash, right? It's deleted. Now let's say you want that back. All you do is just shake your iPhone. And then as you can see here, it's asking if you want to undo what you just trashed. Click on undo and it's brought right back. So pretty cool. Now, there's a couple other things you can do when it comes to the mail app. So you can also do a reading. You can do uh, undo uh, also reading, moving and deleting or even reporting as junk. Those are a couple actions you can uh, do undo when it comes to shake to undo. Now, the next way you can do shake to undo is if you go into your Safari app and let's say you have tons of app with tabs open So if you accidentally close that a tab and you like to reopen that tab Maybe I accidentally close this tab. I can just shake my phone and it's gonna ask if I want to undo the closed tab and as you can see here that tab is Back again. Let's say I close out a bunch of tabs and I want to undo that I can just do that and I can get all the closed tabs again opened on just like that. That's another way to use it. Now let's move on to another way you can use Shake to Undo. Let's say you're creating an event on your calendar, right? Or you're deleting the event, you can actually use it to undo as well. Let's say I created a event here. Right, so I'll add it here. Maybe I don't want this, I can just shake it again and it will ask me to undo that action. Now this works for both creating and editing any calendar event. Now moving on to the next way you can use it is if you have the Files app, let's say you have the Files app here, of course you can go ahead and maybe delete it and then shake it to undo or delete. You can also undo things like renaming, let's say you renamed it to something else, new name, right maybe I don't want that and shake the phone and undo even the naming so a couple things you can do when it comes to the files app is that you can undo renaming deleting creating or even moving files again go ahead and try that out now moving on to the next app that you can use the shake to undo it's gonna be on reminders here let's go into reminder here maybe you have some reminders here let's say you accidentally deleted a reminder you can shake to undo that a reminder just like that just make sure you shake it redo something like that so again you have to be careful how many times you do undo sometimes it could get a little tricky but you get the idea right there and this works in a couple ways it can work on creating deleting editing completing or moving um, reminders on the app here Finally, another way, neat way to use Shake to undo is that let's say you move some apps on your home screen and you want to undo that. Maybe let's go ahead and rearrange an app here. So I'll rearrange this one here, maybe here I click done. Maybe I don't like that anymore. I just do on that and as you can see you can undo any apps that you move or rearrangement that you did. Now keep in mind that whenever you're doing Shake to undo, it does have to be fairly recent action that you have done. So if you move the app and then you did something else on another app, you won't be able to come back to undo the action of it. So it has to be sort of right away after you do an action because your iPhone recognizes the most recent action that you have done. So those are six ways that you can Shake to undo and take advantage of this feature and utilize it. I, I hope that you guys found this video helpful and useful and want to hear from you guys as well. Any other neat ways that you're using Shake to undo as well. Leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.